used to be being loud, hanging out, making moves all the time. Trying to be cautious, your case of my style. Everybody wanna know what's going down. But that's not how I'm living now. I did a 360, turn my whole life around. Now I room with Jesus, yeah, I like how that sound. I wanna know the heaven where the no sit loud. But see, it's like a bird in a chain. People say I'm different since I came out the game. Now they know I'm Christian, so they think I'm a lame. But I don't care because I'm gonna worship your name. All my real life, Christian, throw your hands up. beauties it is cc your frugal goddess i'm coming to you today with um this is going to be part of my intimate things um series y'all let me tell you my internet has been out for <clears throat> i want to say it was out for almost a month okay y'all do you know we were paying like a hundred almost a hundred and I think it was 134 and some change for just internet. We didn't have no house phone hooked into this thing. We didn't have no cable television. None of that. We didn't have no three bundle deal. No. Just internet 134. So I'm not I'm not gonna keep on paying these people that much money for no for just internet. So um and I guess where we live at. It's so kind of countrified. If I think I did a live video on Facebook, and I'll probably do another video here, um, you know, on here on YouTube, and let you guys kind of see my area and my neighborhood. But y'all, yes, it's woods—not woods, but it's fields and all type of stuff out here. So where we're located, it's only like certain companies, and for one um the one company we were dealing with you know that was like the only company that was serviced like my uh i want to say my block radius not even my block because the house next door to us is eligible to get comcast i love comcast we had comcast for i don't know how long i absolutely love comcast i've been very happy with comcast but um our house is not eligible for Comcast. We're not eligible for CenturyLink. Um, it's another uh, internet company we're not eligible for. So we got uh, hooked up with this one internet company and it was ridiculous. So they still, I don't know what's going on with them. I'm going, uh, I got to get the call and check that out. But anyway, so I didn't have no internet. So we finally found a way to hook our internet up through our cell um, company, our cellular phone company. And that's how we got internet. And y'all, I'm telling you, I'm almost saving $100 a month. Almost $100 a month on internet. And everything is still working just perfectly fine. It's working just as well as it was um with the internet service I had. So that's why I ain't been on here. Because I didn't have internet to upload my videos. So anyway, let's talk about this, our intimate things. Uh, I want to thank everybody that has stuck with me and hung out there with me. I appreciate y'all. Uh, I want to thank all my new and old subscribers. Um... Y'all know, I don't even look at y'all as subscribers. Y'all are my family. Um, y'all check on me when I'm gone, when I'm then disappear, you know. And I appreciate that. You know, I truly, truly appreciate it. Okay, we're going to talk about being stuck and settling. Just settling. You know what I'm saying? You know, um, I was at a church and I got a lot out of the church, Okay. Don't get me wrong, I'm not condemning the church. It's a very good church. But I also knew when I was there that it was something missing from my spiritual walk. I mean, don't get me wrong, I got a good message on Sunday. Uh, I, you know, I was fed, I was biblically fed, but I felt it was something missing. 
And I had the desire, so I thought, because I don't even think I had the desire. I had it in my mind. Oh, I want to work. I want to put in work at the church. But when they asked for volunteers, y'all, I wasn't ever there. I wasn't around. I wasn't trying to volunteer. And so I have since found me a new church home. Okay, let me say this. At the old church I was going to, they had a Wednesday night prayer meeting. Okay, the new church I go to, we have a Wednesday night Bible study. Y'all, I break my neck to get out of here every Wednesday night. Same exact time, everything. The other church I was at, um, you know, I would, uh, Wednesday night would come around and it's like, oh, I'm tired. I don't feel like going. And truth be told, the Wednesday nights that I did go, it was because they had a children's program called Patch Club. And Ja'Cory liked being a part of Patch Club. So I actually went for Ja'Cory. Okay. I didn't go to Wednesday night Bible study. I mean, Wednesday night prayer because I wanted to sit there and pray. I went for Ja'Cory to go to his Patch Club. So anyway, um, but what I'm the point I'm getting at is I was settling. I knew it was something that I wasn't, um, that I was missing. But I was settling. I could come on. I could say, oh, I go to church every Sunday. Oh, I go to prayer sometimes. Oh, I make it to um, Bible, women's Bible study sometimes. You know, now I really did enjoy the women's Bible study. I really did enjoy that. Uh, that's something I probably would might uh, look into doing again because I know they start again after. Um, they probably just started a book. But anywho, <clears throat> That is probably something I would be, you know, I would do. I really did enjoy that. But, uh, at, okay, sorry about that, y'all. Anyway, um, uh, I lost my train of thought, so I'm just going to kind of, uh, end this. But, <clears throat> you know, we allow people, we allow, um, uh, we settle, you know what I'm saying? And one reason why we settle is because it has to do with, I think, self-esteem issues sometimes. I think a lot of times it has to do with self-esteem issues because we settle because we may think, well, I'm not good enough to work in your church. Or because I have a past, I can't go in the house of the Lord and serve. Or because I have, uh, you know, in my past, I did this and that and the other. So I had to settle this for this man because that type of man won't love me. Um, I have to settle to be treated like this because this is the best I can get. Well, y'all, God didn't intend for us to have a spirit of settling. He, God intended for us to have the best. He didn't intend for us to have just a little bit. He intended for us to have an abundance, you know. And I'm here to tell you, my pastor's wife, she has such a beautiful testimony on how she prayed for things and you know she trusted God she prayed for him she trusted God for him and she received them okay she prayed trusted God and received okay and that's what we have to do and we have to hold him God him accountable for his word because he tells us any and everything he will do for us in his word I'm here to tell you, he, man, he told me up, uh, this weekend, he told me up, I was trying to settle for little things and he had big things for me. And so, you know, I'm just here to tell you, y'all, we don't have to settle. We don't have to, um, accept something just because, you know, that's what the world wants to say we can get. You know, um, God has so much more for us. He has such an abundance for us. And we as women, we need to reach out and get it. And when I say we as women, because we as women, need our, we are teachers. We are nurturers, okay? And we need to teach our children, don't settle. You know what I'm saying? Reach for the stars, okay? Reach for the universe. You know what I'm saying? Reach for, and don't just reach for the moon. Reach for the universe because you're going to grab a star. Ain't that how the saying goes? But you know what I'm saying? Reach for the world. The world is yours. 
okay? And that's what we need to teach our children. They can do or have anything in the world that they want. We have to teach our children. We have to teach our husbands. We have to teach our uh, loved ones. Yeah, we as women carry a lot on our shoulders. And we are teachers. We are teachers. So God intends for us to teach our families and our loved ones. And we God in, intends for us to reach a multitude. And we have to teach them how to reach for the universe. We can't do it for them. But first, first things first, we have to learn to reach for ourselves. So, ladies, I want you this week to reach for the universe. I want, I know if you reach and you hold God's word in the palm of your hand and you trust him in your heart, you're going to receive. It's going to be, it's going to, you're going to manifest a solid object. You're going to manifest something real. You won't be able to say, you know, uh, the bank said I couldn't get that house, but God said you could. The bank said I couldn't get that car, but God said you could. You know what I'm saying? The bank said I couldn't get that loan. God said you don't even need the loan. He going to give you the money. Okay? So I want y'all to just hold on and to reach and believe. Reach for the universe. Believe. Quit settling. Um, And just know that God loves you and I love you. And I want you to have a beautiful, blessed rest of your day. I will be back. Um, Wiggy Wednesday will be back. And I will be reviewing this beautiful, beautiful unit I have on. And it will also be a uh, beginner's wig uh, review. Because um, I have a good friend that is just starting to wear wigs. And so I want her to, uh, I want to, you know, put some tips in there and not just for her because I know it's some of you other ladies um, that probably have thought about wanting to wear a wig or whatever and you're like, I don't know what to do with that thing. So yeah, I want to do a beginner's wig review. Um, but I'm going to use, it will be with this wig. And so with that, I want you to have a beautiful blessed day. I want you to remember to be your own kind of beautiful and tell somebody you love. Oh, oh, wait a minute, y'all. I have a praise report. My friend that had, that had the thyroid cancer. Yes, I said had. Thank you, Jesus. Hallelujah. The, my friend that had the thyroid cancer, um, she had her surgery. They had delayed it because they found something else. But uh, all cancer, she's cancer free. They removed all the cancer. I don't know if she's going to have, I think she has to do some radiation or whatever, but all the cancer is gone. She is cancer free. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. I truly thank you and appreciate your prayers. And that goes to show you, you don't have to have a person's name or know who it is. God knows who you're praying for. So with that, I want you to have a beautiful, blessed day. Tell somebody you love them. Don't wait too late. Later.